What is good everybody? Back with another video. Going to the shop, sorry, excuse the AC units over here, they decided to turn on right as I decided to vlog. I'm about to go drop off my son with my girl. I'm loading everything into the car. I got his backpack, him, this camera, and I have the huge camera, so this video is kind of hard to film right now. So after I drop my son off, I'm probably gonna head to the shop. We got a lot of packing to do. Tomorrow is Houston Sneaker Summit. Sorry for the AC, I had it blasted off right now because it's like 103 degrees um, again in Texas. So it's super hot right now, but I'm about to drop my son off with my girl, go to the shop, and then start packing for the Houston Sneaker Summit. We have a vendor table out there, so if you're in Houston, make sure you swing by, say what's up to us. It'll be a pretty cool event. Houston always shows love, as always. Front row parking, you know it's gonna be a good Saturday. All right, just got to Savers. Gonna go see what they got in here. I haven't been to the Savers in a little while. Usually this one holds me down. Thought I'd hit a couple thrift stores before I go to the shop. So I'll take you guys along with me real quick. Hopefully we find something good for the shop today. Got a Texas Rangers jersey. Pretty nice. Fully embroidered on the front. That nice red, white, and blue colorway. But they want $12.99. Tripping. All right, we got some crew necks in the mix. We got this Dallas Cowboys True Fan crew neck, double XL, $3.99, really good price, but double XL might be a little bit hard to sell. Also, we got this Pittsburgh Steelers Logo Athletic for only $3.50. This one's super sick with the Logo Athletic on the front. This is super nice. Nothing on the back, just the NFL patch, but definitely picking this one up. Got this nice Brazil football tee by Starter. Has some like bleach stains on it for $2.49. Gonna go ahead and leave it, but I thought it was pretty cool. And in the jersey department, we found this Texas Rangers by Majestic. Um, has these patches on it for $2.99. Has this like small stain on there, but that's really the only flaw um, they got on it. It's an XL, and it is Hamilton. I don't know much about baseball, but Texas Rangers jerseys always do well. Probably gonna go ahead and pick this one up. This University of Utah t-shirt is pretty sick. Tie-dye, huge helmet on the front, Indians. Pretty clean, I'm gonna go ahead and pass on it, but the graphics are still super dope. Boy, this Savers is coming through with the vintage crew necks. Look at this Cowboys back-to-back -back NFC champions. Super Bowl, January 30, 1994. This thing is crispy with tag still. Still got the sticker on it. How much they asking? They only asking $6.49. Definitely gonna have to pick this up. This thing is crazy. Yo, look at this tag. This Wilson tag is super old. Definitely from the 90s. Wilson athletic wear and then the Wilson embroidery on the back. This is pretty cool, but it's just a tank top, so really can't do much with it. Some more Texas Rangers flames. West Division champions from 1996. Fully graphics on the front. Nothing on the back, which kind of sucks. It's a, it is a double XL, but they're only asking $2.99. Definitely gotta pick this up. Nice little 2007 Bob Marley tee. Bob Marley on the front. Bob Marley patch on the bottom. They want $5.49. It's a double XL, but it really looks like a size XL large, really. But they didn't even want to pick it up. $6 kind of steep on it, though. Nothing on the back. Found this basic stripe tee. Size medium. They only want $2.49 for it. I like the way it fits. It has, like that, it has like a boxy fit to it. So I'm going to go ahead and pick this up. Just for my personal use, really. Walking out, Sabres with a pile of stuff. It was only like 15 bucks. I had a coupon. They have like this loyalty plan now. If you spend so much money, they keep your number or something like that. And I saved my coupon and it saved me 30% off today. So that was pretty good. So I only spent 15 bucks. Crew necks were pretty fire and I know why it was good today. I had front row parking at Savers. All right, so I'm about to check out this like antique store. It's kind of weird. I've only been there one time, but they have pretty cool stuff in there. It's like action figures. It's like a huge mess everywhere. Like it's a mom and a son who run the store and they just have a mess everywhere. But you can find some cool stuff. Like I found a couple of vintage hats. I found like this 1998 uh, duffel bag. I found a bunch of cool wind, uh, windbreakers. Uh, I found a bunch of uh, those action figures that we have in our store. A bunch of cool WWE action figures. So we'll see what they got today. Better be some good stuff in there today because I had to park all the way in the back of the store. I gotta walk all the way around because it's like super packed up front right now. So let's see what they got. So I found this bin full of t-shirts has some pretty cool t-shirts in here i already put some at the front but look at this one this one's pretty cool 2001 this one's sick but i got some more in the front i'll show you they already have them on hold i got a bunch of throwback action figures austin powers wrestling They're pretty cool 
This is what I found right now. This like vintage Chicago Bulls. Brand new in plastic and then this Crown Royal hat. This is pretty cool. I'm debating if I want to get this. I gotta see how much it is though. You have to really like dig in here to find some cool stuff. Which is pretty fun. I don't know what this is. It's pretty cool. As you can see, there's like a lot of stuff. We got a bunch of Star Wars stuff over here. Two thousand four San Antonio Final Four basketball. This is pretty cool. Got this Betty boot from nineteen ninety nine. Still with tags. They got it from Ross for five ninety nine, which is pretty cool. Ross being around since ninety nine. You don't really think about that too much. Jumping out that thrift store with some flame. I got nine pieces for sixty bucks. They are absolutely flame. Last time we came, we only picked up some action figures. This time, they had a bin full of t-shirts. I went through that whole bin, sat there for like 30 minutes and went through everything and came out with nine items. They had that blanket, but she was kind of taxing on that blanket. So I went ahead and passed on the blanket. She wanted like $11 for it. And I really didn't even know what it looked like. So I went ahead and passed on that, but I'm gonna break into all these t-shirts I got for you guys. All right, we're gonna have my lovely assistant, Brian Escobar. He's gonna uh, display the stuff for you guys and I'm gonna go through it real quick what we got. Show him right here what we got. We got this Crown Royal dad hat, right? It's dad hat. Yeah. Okay, show him what we got next. Show him what we got next. Seven Dust from 1998. Seven Dust from 1998. Got the group on the back. Got a quarantine from the 2002 tour. Has a little bit of stains on it, but nothing too major. Wash it out. On the back of there. Disturbed 2002. 1999 UIL champs. So this is like a local basketball league that's here in Austin. Or actually just a league in general, right? They do yeah, like all sports. It's like high school. It's UIL. like high school sports and stuff, but I thought the graphics were pretty cool from 1999, so pick that up. And Ted I don't, Nugent. Do you know who Ted Nugent is? Honestly, I've heard I don't. that name before. I don't know who it is, but the graphics were super sick from 2001. On the back as well. The Coal Chambers, Coal Chambers. From 1996, I believe. 1999. 1999 Coal Fresh Chambers tee. That was super sick. Went ahead and picked that one up. All these I picked up uh, from that last thrift shop for like four bucks. Another corn tee. Same one, just a red colorway. This one's in a lot better condition though. Got the Disturb on the back. Darth Vader. I really like this one just because it's like a Pepsi tee and you don't really ever see like Star Wars tees too much. And it's from what, 99, right? 96. 96, so that's pretty cool. See the dates on the back, I gotta pay attention to the dates. 1996. Smack this. I honestly do have no idea who this is. I don't think Brian knows who it is either. But the reason why I got it was turning around the back. Boom! Smack this. I just really like the back and I know somebody will enjoy that. So I went ahead and picked it up. I think it actually up. does have a date on it. Does it have a date on it? 2000. That was from 2000, so. Right. Still old, still from 2000. Another UIL. This one's a little bit older. This one's from 97. So 90, 1997 UILT. Like I said, nothing crazy for it. It's just local Austin. This one y'all saw at Savers. I went ahead and picked it up. Still has the original tags on it. Look at that. Originally $32. I don't know if you can kind of see from it. Kind of Broly, Foley's. From Foley's. This thing 32. is so icy. Like. Look at the like, this thing is so clean. It looks better than if you actually went to the store and went to go pick one up. It's super clean. Then we got this Pittsburgh Steelers logo athletic one. This one's super sick. We had a Dallas Cowboy one like that not too long ago and it moved quick. We got a Texas Rangers jersey. They only wanted $2.99 for us. So I went ahead and picked this up. What is his name? Josh Hamilton, right? Josh Hamilton. Josh yeah. Hamilton. The alcoholic. And then this one was pretty sick too. It's a little bit big, double XL. Really don't try to get too much double XL, but the graphics are pretty cool. I think it was from 96, right? 1996. Yep, 1996. Like we always say, there's a lot of work going into these pictures right here. Got the man behind the camera. All this stuff will be on our Instagram. Go check it out. Also, will be on our website. Link will be down below if you want to copy any of that stuff. Also, got tons of other vintage stuff from the store. Go check it out right now. All right, so a guy just came in here right now and dropped off a couple things. We cashed him out. I'm gonna show you what we picked up from him. He also watches the channel. So shout out to you, man. He threw in this pretty much for free because we're just gonna display it. But it's a. Uh, Frosted Mini Tweets, David Robinson USA Olympic um, Kellogg's box, which is pretty cool. We're just gonna have it for display. And then we picked up this uh, Reebok Houston Rockets Rockets jersey. Nothing too crazy. We went and just picked it up because it was there. And then we got this 1993 three-piece Chicago uh, champion tee. 
It's really cool, not much cracking on it. We've had a couple of them before and they've done really well. Graphics on it are super sick, nothing on the back. And it is a size XL, so really cool pickup from him. I'll show you guys a couple of new stuff that we got at the shop. We got this all-star Jordan 1 dead stock for 220. Got a couple more Royals, y'all saw that in the last video. A couple more Space Jams, gotta always keep Space Jams on deck. I don't know if y'all saw these last time. We got the Supreme Camo 5s. Uh, got some cement 4s in. Black Cat 13s in, dead stock. Space Jam 9s, if that's what you want to call them. Space Jam 9s. I think that's the newest stuff that we've gotten in. And then the latest thing, we got some Sport Blue threes and that's the most recent uh jordan pickup we've had re recently all right right now we're in the process of packing up a bunch of vintage tees sneakers we got a lot of pack up the wall looking kind of weak right now we're going to be closed tomorrow for h-town sneaker summit so we got all these shoes right here two bins or all that's full of hats all that's expensive vintage t-shirts they got Supreme, all the hype shit is in these duffel bags, so we got a lot to bring, a lot to carry all the way to Houston. Not compared to last time, though. Last time, we took so much more. We had two tables. This time, we only got one table, so hopefully we do well out here. Hopefully, all my shoes sell. Hopefully, all of them sell. All right, guys, we're done packing for Houston tomorrow, so we'll be out there. I'm going to try to edit this video tonight and have it up. If not, the Houston video will be up later, and this will be up later, but if I do happen to upload this tonight, Make sure you check us out check us out at Houston Sneaker Summit if you're in the area. Thanks for watching guys. Until next time, I'm out. Peace.